Welcome back, welcome back, back, welcome back, back with a new video. It's your boy Xavier, aka Zay, here with you today, as I promised, you know, back with new content. So today, today's uh, content is going to be questions and answers as you guys will get to know me and know what I'm about and know, you know, just who I am based off the fact of my first video, which was kind of rocky, but you know, you know, bounce backs. The first question uh what made you start doing youtube what made me start doing youtube was when i started um using youtube as you know entertainment um i used it for video games uh videos anime clips like that but once i got into like the vlogging um side of it and i started watching some vloggers such as like ddg for example i noted that i wanted to do vlogging and you know, do just what he's doing. And you know, seeing his person, I, the type of person I am, I knew that if I, if he can do it, I can do it. So that's why, that's why I really wanted to do YouTube. You know, too, you talk to yourself in the camera a lot. And usually, I'm my, I'm my own best friend. So when it, when it comes to you know, doing YouTube, that's, that's basically what it's all about and connecting with you guys and stuff like that so yeah that's why i wanted to do youtube on to the next question what kind of content will you be doing um the type of content i will be doing is <clears throat> sorry pranks um vlogging um normal daily stuff that you know typically you know normal vloggers really do um you know some vent and talk about life and you know different situations and stuff like that so that's really that's pretty much the only um content that i want to be posting uh, things that you guys can you know relate to and reflect on and you know contribute and you know post feedback on things that i go through in life that you probably also go through so yeah that's why I, that's the type of content I'm going to be posting. What is your favorite things to do? My favorite things to do are play basketball, um, play video games, and just chill. I'm, I'm chill. I'm very laid back. Um, I don't really go out as much because I don't really have a great amount of friends. But when I do go out, it's either I'm, I'm around family and some of the friends that I do have. Um... You know, I play basketball the majority of the time. Sometimes I go to the gym and work out and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I do on my, on, as for fun. Um, do you hope to get famous one day? <clears throat> no, I don't hope to get famous one day. Because of the fact that when you get famous, it comes with a lot of attention. And when a lot of attention is on you, then you start to get, like, criticism and stuff like that when you do certain things. So I don't really, I don't really like having a limelight on me because that just brings negativity to your life, and I don't need that right now. That's that's the least of my concerns of being famous. I would rather build wealth and gain financial stability rather than you know trying to be famous or act some act like somebody I'm not. So yeah. On to the next question. What is your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is a Scorpio. Um, I was born October 31st, 1995. So, yeah. Scorpios are lit. We lit. You know how we get. You hurt? <laughs> um, on to the next question. Where are you from? I'm from the city of champions. You feel me? Boston. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Born and raised. Even though I don't mess with the Patriots, I'm still, you know, a Beantown kid. Um, you know, things of that nature. So that's where I'm from, East Coast. Um, how tall are you? I am 6'4". Um, I hit my growth spurt uh, my last two years of high school, where at one point I was 5'11", and then 
I trans I, I ended up hitting my growth spurt during that summer that summertime and I shot up from five eleven to six three and then grew another inch the following year at the end of my senior year. So yeah, I'm six I'm six four. Four. Um next question. Are you single? I am very much single. Um, I've been single for quite a while. Uh, I'm not really focused on, you know, being in a relationship at this given moment because of the fact that I'm focusing on my schooling and, you know, trying to, you know, have a stable life and build a foundation so that when I do get into a relationship, you know, I'll be set in stone and I'll have my own place and, you know, I'll be, you know, all smooth. That way, you know, I could build that, that stepping stone and, you know, become a husband at some point. Um, but I am very much single, so, you know, you can shoot your shot anytime, you feel? Um, next question is celebrity crush. My celebrity crush is Ashanti. I like, I, I like, you know, her type of style, her type of voice, her, her, her look, it's just like, oh man, like, like she's just fine. And the fact that she's at the age that she's at now and she still looks the same and she's still turning heads speaks dividends. Like, black queen, black don't crack, you dick. But yeah, that's my, that's my celebrity crush. I hope, you know, I hope to meet her one day. So I can, you know, shoot my shot or something. But until then, she's gonna be a celebrity crush. Um, next question: Are you in school? If so, what are you in school for? Um, so I go to UMass Boston. I'm a transfer student. Um, my first school that I graduated from was Bunker Hill University, Bunker Hill Community College. Um, at the time that I transferred I transferred into my fall semester which was this past semester and it was my first year at UMass Boston. Um I graduated from Bunker with my associate's degree in, you know, science. And so far um at UMass Boston I'll be graduating soon with my bachelor's degree in criminal justice so that way I can go on to, you know, become an outreach for young teens and help them, you know, get through life and um you know, just just show them guidance and be a role model and stuff like that. So that's what I really want to do after I graduate um, with my, my major degree. So, yeah. Um, next question. Hmm. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, five years? I see myself just typically successful. Successful as in being comfortable in my environment, being comfortable about how much I accomplished so far, knowing how the life I came up in was kind of, you know, hectic and, you know, easy to turn to. I just want to, you know, be able to say, I'm, you know, I'm well, I'm well prepared for life after you know school and able to you know provide for my my future family and be successful and just comfortable that's all I'm that's all that matters is comfortability and stability so yeah um next question is what's your favorite sport my favorite sport is basketball um there was a series of sports I tried in the past, but you know, it didn't work out such as uh, football. Um, once once I did football, I knew that it wasn't my sport because one, when I first got hit, I knew this wasn't my sport because I don't like getting hit. Plus, it was like during the cold season, so I'm not really big on cold weather. I'm more of a, you know, warm weather guy. So when, you know, when I was out, you know, Doing football, I would, you know, complain a lot and, you know, hesitate on going to practice and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, during the time that I was playing basketball, I started AAU and I met I met some young men, you know, that, that I connected with over basketball. So, uh, for a prime example, my boy Marcus, God rest his soul, rest in peace. 
you know, he, you know, he was the first one to, you know, make me feel at home when I started my first AAU program with the Spartans. So once I, um, once I got comfortable and I started, you know, adjusting to the level of playing style with basketball and being, you know, but developed basketball, you know, I knew that I loved this sport more than I loved any other sport. So, yeah. Um, next question is, do you want kids? I, in fact, do want kids. Well, a kid because of the fact that I only want one kid. <laughs> Like, I want a daughter, but, you know, if I'm blessed with a boy, you know, I'll really be happy with that, too. You know, I can't, you know, beggars can't be choosy, so I try to make, you know, make at least some exception to have, to expect that it'll be a boy and not just a girl. But if push come to shove and I get twins and they both want a girl and a boy, then, you know, kill two birds with one stone, you feel me? But other than that, yeah, I just, I want kids, but just one kid. Um, next question. Mm. What is your personality like? Um, my personality is like, I'm very chill and laid back. Um, I'm very content. If, once you get to know me and you know the type of person I am and see the type of person that, you know, I, you know, establish myself to being how I present myself, you'll see that, you know, I am, you know, very laid back and chill, um, quiet at the most, but other than that, yeah, my, um, I'm very, you know, straightforward with things, I'm up, you know, I, I'm straightforward with my feelings and, you know, a whole vibe, and, you know, once you get to know me, it's gonna be, you know, different, because you'll, then you'll see for yourself that I am a type of person that you can be around and learn from so yeah um next question did you grow up looking up towards um i grew up looking toward looking up towards you know my mom my grandmother simply because of the fact that my whole life they done took care of me and you know raised me into the young man i am and added you know stability and discipline to my life so um since then it's been up from there like there was times where you know i didn't want to you know do school anymore and you know they pushed me to you know do better and you know to you know give me the chance to actually grow and become a man so that those are the two those are the two people i look up to in my lifetime even though i don't tell them as much i just know that they feel that i do appreciate them and that's just how it is, you know. But other than that, it's good. Um, next question is, do you enjoy partying? Hmm. I'm not really a partying type of person, to be honest. Like. I'm very, I'm, I'm like a gathering type, family event, functional type person. Simply because when parties, it's just, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of being in a crowded area where I can't move as much, or I just, you know, simply feel like I'm trapped. Like I need space, I need time, I need to move around, I need to associate with people without trying to bump into another person. But as far as that go, um. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a big no. I don't party. <laughs> I don't party as much, or I don't party at all. So, um, yeah. Um, so, I'm about to end this video. Um, if you haven't, subscribe, subscribe, click the link in the box below. Um, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, or, you know, Twitter. Uh, you know those type of social medias um also get me to 1k please like it'll be you know it'll be worth it to get me to 1k because then i know that i'm doing my job so please please get me to 1k and you know i'll see you next video